everyone. So I wanted to hop on here real quick and um, just do a little video on how to stay on budget and on plan while while you're traveling. I apologize for looking like a hot mess, but we're getting ready to travel. And um, I'm just behind in all my preparations and everything. Um, but as I'm preparing, I thought it would be good to take a few minutes out and um, just give you guys a few ideas. So obviously it's gonna be different if you're flying versus driving, if you're staying in an Airbnb um, or something with a kitchen versus a hotel room. And some hotel rooms have kitchen um, kitchenette suites. So they have a stove and a full um, size refrigerator as opposed to the little dorm refrigerator. And if you're in an Airbnb, um, unless you're just renting a room in an Airbnb, but like if you have a whole apartment type Airbnb, you'll have a kitchen. So that will make a difference. And then it's just packing um, for the traveling. So my daughter and I actually just were, was um, in Georgia for a night um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, we flew down and then we drove a car back. So we wanted to stay um, on plan as much as we could without killing the budget. Um, and it was just a quick less than 48 hours that we were gone. So we left on a, we left on a Tuesday and we got back on um, Wednesday night. So actually, yeah, just a little over 24 hours. So um, we um, cooked up a bunch of bacon and put that in a lunchbox with an ice pack and then some um, a stick of butter so that I could use that for my coffee. And I just bought some cold brew coffee that I know I tolerate well. So I just bought that from Target um, when we stopped at the hotel. Um, and we brought some uh, beef jerky um, and then some um, cheddar wisps for, you know, on the plane or, or whatever, if we were hungry, because neither one of us had time to eat breakfast before we left. So we wanted to have something, um, something there. And um, we did really good. So then what we did was we stopped at um, a Walmart once we got on the road and we bought some more um, carnivore food so that we had that for the car ride home. Um, we did eat out twice, but it was just the two of us. So it wasn't like it was that big of a deal. Once we ate at um, Outback Steakhouse, which I haven't been to one of those in forever um, and had some steaks, so that was really good. And this was supposed to be a, a mommy daughter getaway anyway. So it was supposed to be a little special. And then um, we ate at uh, Culver's, no, we ate at a and &W. We just got burger patties and um, some bacon and ate those um, so that we had something to eat because we weren't getting home until late. Um, and uh, so that was fine. Um, they did look at me a little weird when they had to check my um, suitcase because there was a lunchbox with bacon in it. And so when the gal opened it up, she's like, okay bacon and butter that was all that was in there um on that note i take salt with me when i travel um my fluids shift a lot and um i also tend to drink a lot more water while i'm driving so um i like to take salt it's not liquid so i didn't think to pull it out of my bag um, and it also is not an unopened container. Redmond salt has minerals in it. It's not just your cheap, plain old white salt. So it looked different colors on their screen. So they had to take it out and they had to swab it. And it has minerals on it. And I don't know if you can see, but even though it's closed, it still gets 
salt flakes around the top. I think had I like pulled it out of my bag and just had it sitting in the bin, it probably would have been okay. And having TSA pre-check makes no difference. When they swabbed it, because they got some of the salt particles on it, it set off the bomb detection. Not a fun way to start your journey. I got a lovely full on groping session in front of everyone for salt. So if you're going to be flying, here's a couple suggestions. Maybe put it in a Ziploc bag or have a brand new unopened container. Or I believe you can order from Redmond's um, prepackaged like salt tubes. Don't quote me on that, but someone told me that they used to get them. Um, those would be my suggestions um, or buy it when you get to where you're going if you can find it. If you have a high quality grocery store somewhere, um, you'll be able to find it. I think most Walmarts even carry it. It's just, I don't want to buy a whole container when I've got plenty at home. Um, but if you don't want to set off the bomb detection, um, keep that in mind because that's not fun. Um, so we got past that fiasco, got strange looks because of the bacon, but the rest of the trip went fine. And then, um, we actually ate the bacon, um, for a, a light dinner, um, and then, uh, breakfast the next morning. Um, I didn't have any breakfast the next morning. My daughter went down, got some eggs and, um, then ate some of our bacon cause they didn't really have any meat. And then we went on our way. So we are getting ready to leave for Missouri for nearly a week. And it's going to be four of my girls and then my husband and myself. Um, so that's a fairly large amount of people. We will be in a hotel room and we're going to be gone Friday, getting back on Wednesday. So not quite a week, but almost a week. And we don't want to be eating out uh, every night because it, that will get pricey. So what we are doing now, we're driving. If we were flying, it would be um, a little different. Um, but for driving, we are taking uh, our air fryer. We are taking a an electric uh, griddle. Um, if you had an electric skillet, that would be cool too. And um, we are actually pre-cooking burger patties to keep in the refrigerator at the hotel. Um, we'll take a couple of coolers down with us. And um, I'm making about three loaves of my uh, protein bread. And I'm going to make some carnivore waffles. Uh, we will have plenty of lunch meat, um, ham, un uncured. We're cooking up um, bacon. I'm going to make sure that I have bacon mayo along. And then we'll bring our own ketchup and mustard. And we will probably pick up a few things um, while we're there. We're going to take eggs and butter. Um, I'm going to package everything in um, Ziplocs. I'm going to use the silicone Ziplocs that I have, um, but I've only got a couple of those. Although I did see at Costco, they had like a nine pack for a decent price and we have to go there tomorrow. So I might, I might get those. We'll see. Um, but I find it's better because those refrigerators in the hotel aren't that big. And so to try and fit like containers, we're not going to fit as many containers. Whereas if we have things in bags, you can kind of like um, position them a little better. So look at the things that you typically eat and either try to prepare them ahead of time. And you can, if you've got room in a suitcase, you can put pre-prepped food or like in a backpack or whatever, you can put pre-prepped pre -prepped food um, in your bag, as long as there's no liquid, it's fine. 
just make sure you wipe off the containers in case any oil or grease or anything would have gotten on there because again they might end up having to swab that that happened a few years ago this was back before i was carnivore um but i was um whole foods anyway and i had like a a coleslaw type dish that I was um, eating at the airport and I hadn't finished it. So we put the lid back on it and we put it in my husband's backpack. And so they pulled it out and then he had to go over to this gated area and I had this big anxiety attack. It was not good. Um, I don't fly well to begin with and not being carnivore, my anxiety was still like up. I didn't, I didn't know what I know now then. And they swabbed my coleslaw container and some of the juice had gotten on the outside and it set off the bomb detection and oh what a mess even though he had already had a full pat down because he's diabetic and he had um he had his sensor on and stuff they they gave him another full pat down and had to go through everything in his bag it took like an extra half an hour and i'm blubbering like an idiot and tsa was not nice to me so if you're going to prepare food, just make sure nothing dripped on the outside or anything that they could like swab or whatever. But really, you should be you should be fine um, as long as there's not like any any liquid type things. Um, the other thing that I picked up was Ryan wanted um, prepackaged olives. He likes black olives. I'm going to be packaging up our Kalamata olives in snack baggies. Um, but he wanted some black olives. So I picked up a few containers. Um, they're just like little containers. They got like about 10 olives in each. And so I picked up a few packs of those um, for him. And then um, we'll have cheddar wisps. And um, my girls like the uh, little mini kosher dill pickles. So we're bringing those. Um, bring some cream cheese because they like those wrapped with ham so um again make main thing is making sure you know are you complete carnivore are you um ketovore where you eat some vegetables hence us bringing the pickles um and then anything that you can bring to cook in so if you're flying you could fit a griddle in your bag um but if you didn't want to do that then your best case scenario is to um in the freezer section they do sell pre um pre-cooked burger patties so you could get those and cook them up in the microwave um bring your own bread if you do um the carnivore bread um i am gonna bring because we'll be bringing eggs because we have chickens so I mean, I don't really want to buy eggs down there. We're just going to bring ours. And um, uh, I'll probably bring some ground up pork rinds so that if I wanted to make like some carnivore pancakes or something, I can. But I'm going to have the waffles already made. Be careful with hotel eggs. I used to work in a hotel. Um, the if If they're offering scrambled eggs, very often those are cartoned. And sometimes if it's a mix, it may have pancake batter mixed in it. Um, not all of it does. And you can ask the front desk person or whoever is manning the breakfast. You can ask to see that. Um, and you can, you know, um, because of all they do, at least when I worked at the hotel and I never ate the eggs because of how they were made, is um, we dumped a thing of a carton of the egg mixture in a bowl and you popped it in the microwave and you put it on for a certain amount of time then you pulled it out and then you stirred it and you put it back in the microwave and then you pulled it out and you stirred it and you did that like four times and you filled up the um heated plate thing um oh the other thing that i'm going to make either make or take, I haven't decided yet, is breakfast sausage. Because we're going to take the air fryer, so I can always cook the breakfast sausage um, there, so that's not a, a big deal. Um, and then uh, if you're bringing, you know, if you're bringing cooking things, you just 
don't forget like tongs or a spatula or something. Um, the reason we're cooking the hamburger patties now instead of in the hotel, because we will have the air fryer along, is hotel refrigerators don't always have a freezer. And if they do, it's um, very small. And we have the, the pre-made patties. So they're supposed to stay frozen until you cook them. So I just want to cook them ahead of time. Um, and then I don't have to worry about freezer space because I don't want them to thaw because they don't cook right if they're thawed. So some other ideas you could get, um, you could eat the Polish sausage, um, hot dogs. Hot dogs are, they're pre-cooked, so you really could have them um, hot or cold. Just get the, the best that you, you can afford. And those are all things that you can buy when you get there. Now, if you have an Airbnb, um, obviously you have a whole new world opened up to you on how to eat when you're on vacation. Um, so like when we go to the Dells for our big family vacation every year, we take all of our own food because we've got a huge refrigerator and, and a stove and utensils and everything. So that's really nice. But when you're going to spend five days in a hotel with the whole family, we will eat out probably once or twice. Um, but there still is lunches and I mean, we've got kids, so they're not going to not eat breakfast. Um, and so, you know, I don't want them just filling up on junk at the convention center because that's what everyone else is going to be doing. So this way they can take bacon, they can take um, hard boiled eggs. And a lot of times hotel breakfasts will have hard boiled eggs too. And those are safe to eat. So hopefully that has helped you um, just get creative in your packing, especially if you're flying, just um, get really creative in where you can squeeze pre-cooked things uh, to take along because it will really save your budget and yes, it's a little more work prepping before you leave if you don't want to like have to go shopping or something down there. But that extra work is so worth not going off plan or, you know, all of a sudden being like, oh, I just want to eat something. And so you just, because you're not prepared, you get crap because you will pay for it. You will pay for it in inflammation, in water weight, um, in mental fog. It all depends on what your why is, why you're eating this way. Um, and that takes time to bounce back from. So, you know, if you're if it's just a night, it's probably not a big deal. But if you're going to be gone like for five days like us, it, it I don't want to go off plan for five days. I'm not saying that I'm not going to have, you know, anything that I shouldn't have. Um, because I'm still going to enjoy myself, but at least I've got stuff that we won't, you know, have to really be feeling like we shouldn't have done this. So hopefully that will help. I'm going to make bread and I got my website is all transferred over so I can actually start putting new content up there. So I'm going to have all the pictures and everything of the bread. So you don't have to just do the long YouTube video and, um, Happy carnivore traveling.